Is it not amazing to you that a decade ago, when the Pentium 4 processor Extreme Edition 3.46 GHz first launched, it debuted at around $1,000, with the rest of the top tier products falling around $600, $400, and $275, and that now, in 2014, pricing is still very similar? Perhaps not on the surface, but consider this. In the last 10 years, average gas prices in the US have gone from under $2 per gallon to around $3.50 per gallon, with general inflation in the 20 to 25% range. How is it then that as the requisite tools and microprocessor manufacturing facilities, also known as fabs, continue to increase in cost, the processors we use in our devices, be they laptops, tablets, phones, or even a hundred other things you wouldn't think of, perform better, consume less power, and are available at, when we adjust for inflation, the same or lower prices year after year? I mean, they're still basically layered metal circuits on a pure silicone wafer that's had transistors formed in it, so it's simple, right? Actually, no. Even though many of the raw materials being used are similar, the actual device fabrication process has changed dramatically. Every two years or so, truly, it's almost like clockwork, Intel has debuted a new way to test the laws of physics and begin mass production of processors running smaller and smaller transistors. Every time they shrink things down another notch, we say they've moved to a new process node. When this happens, there are a couple of things that usually occur. Transistors switch faster. This translates to potentially higher clock speeds and performance. Less current is required for transistor switching, which translates into reduced power consumption. And the physical area taken up per transistor goes down significantly, allowing allowing either what is fundamentally the same processor to be manufactured with less raw material and be therefore lower cost, or a better processor to be manufactured with the same raw material at a similar cost. So that's all the fuss being made right now about Intel's Core M processor codename Broadwell Y, the first CPU to be produced using Intel's latest 14 nanometer manufacturing process. Now, architecturally, it's not a huge change compared to Haswell, the last generation one, which is based on Intel's 22 nanometer manufacturing process. But shrinking the size of the transistors allows the Core M to do some pretty amazing stuff, including deliver dual core, turbo boost capable CPUs with beefy onboard graphics that have a TDP of four to four and a half watts, low enough for use in two-in-ones and other ultra-thin mobile devices in the future without requiring a cooling fan, not to mention better performance, better battery life, etc. And there's more. As Intel's capacity at 14 nanometer ramps up, we will see this technology deployed in the desktop and server until it's everywhere, and then it's time to start the whole process all over again. And that is how we keep getting better processors at the same or even lower prices sometimes. Speaking of better performance, is your site slow? Do your online stores, customers, or blogs visitors complain that it's ugly? People on the internet sure aren't nice sometimes, hey? Anyway, don't worry too much about that because there is an easy solution. Squarespace is today's sponsor and these guys kinda kick ass. First of all, they're just cool guys, but I guess that's not really enough reason to give them your money. Nope, you need real reasons. Squarespace makes having your own beautiful, functional website both easy and affordable. Head over to squarespace.com slash Linus, grab a free two-week trial, pick one of their fantastic templates that's optimized for desktop or mobile, and see if their tools work for you. If you're having any trouble, they have 24-7 tech support too. If you like it, make sure you use offer code Linus, linked in the video description to save 10%. We use it for our company website, and we've been incredibly happy with the service, and I'm sure you will be too. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, leave a comment letting me know if you have any comments or suggestions for future fast as possible episodes just like this one. And if you did enjoy the video, please do give it a share. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button because that will power my turtle rocket ship to the moon. <laughs> if I get lots of them. I read it on the internet. On someone's very beautiful Squarespace blog.